What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited. I'm happy, I'm fairly happy with where all the cars are at right now. FRS is all finished up. The new BRZ is fun to drive and we can finally get back to work on the hatch. I really wanna get this car finished up. So that's what we're gonna jump back into today. And we'll probably work on the, on the hatch. This guy up here, Mr. Sustiai, will probably stay on this project until it's 100% done. But real quick, if you've never seen a new BRZ and an older BRZ FRS side by side, here you have it. There's the front. Um, of course, it's kind of hard to compare a fully modified one versus a stock one, but a little rough comparison, rough idea if you guys are curious. Comment below, what do you guys, what body style? Like, I know it's hard to say because that thing's so modded out, but if it was stock, I'll put a, I'll put a stock one right there real quick. New school or old school? As of right now, I'm still gonna stick with the older style. I just think like, how do I, okay. The side profile of the new one looks better, front end and the back of the old one looks better. I think the style, the overall shape of the headlight looks quite a bit better. And then the tails as well. Those things are, they're hard to like. It's like a Honda. It's like some sort of a cord look to it versus the older ones. I'm sure my mind will change as time goes on as we start modifying the car, but we'll see. I don't know, drop a comment below. What do you guys like? New or old? I'm gonna pull the BRZ out, pull the Evo 8 out from under the lift, and we need to uh, get some work done on, on Sus TI today. I guess two important things, new versus old BRZs. New interiors, light years ahead of the older one. And the new one's got a 2.4 liter, which I'm excited to see what we can do with it. As far as transmissions go, I'm not really sure the differences. I guess time will tell when we start putting all the power in the world at the new BRZ, see if it'll hold up unlike the older trans. That's my, uh, that's my take on new versus old. All right, so trying to think off, trying to think where we left off on the hatch. I think the last thing we were doing was installing the exhaust. I realized the downpipe was actually an 0207 WRX STI downpipe. So we got a new one in from Grim Speed, and as we waited for that new one to come in, that's when we just did the FRS. I want to say real quick, but it actually took quite a bit longer than expected. So now we have the downpipe. We can go ahead and get the downpipe installed, and what else? The 2.5 is torn apart at the machine shop. Whenever that comes back in a few months, we can get that dropped in. But there's still quite a bit of things we need to do. The one thing that really pissed me off the most with this build, and it's completely my fault, I lost or misplaced, I have not found it yet, a giant box or bag of hardware, like actual Subaru interior clips and bolts and nuts, all the hardware for the wing. I know, I remember cleaning up the whole interior, putting all the hardware in either a bag or a box, and it's gone. I looked for it for like a whole day, not a whole day, but a couple hours, at least a few hours before we started on the FRS project. And I cannot find that bag of hardware, hidden hardware, the hardware in hiding. That's gonna kind of set us back because I need to go through, figure out what all we lost and actually go on Subaru and order every single bolt again. I'm not the biggest fan. I'm just going to like Ace Hardware and buying random bolts. Regardless though, we do have a downpipe. Let's get the downpipe opened up and get that guy on the car. I'm excited to see how this Grim Speed exhaust sounds. So it looks like this is a Devoris downpipe. It is catted. I'm pretty sure all anybody makes these days is catted downpipes because of the really cool EPA. And this guy is already ceramic coated. They had the option, and of course we had to do it. Saves us a little bit of time. 
nice beautiful downpipe like i said divorced wastegate which restricts right back into the downpipe I believe it's three inch all the way through tiny little cat from what i understand that guy will not rob any sort of power should not restrict the noise at all it just helps with emissions so we got that new gasket plug for one of the o2s if we don't want to run o2 sensors so we can run o2 down there up here would be for a wideband and then all new hardware as well so let's pop off our old crusty downpipe and get the new guy installed i want to do a little side by side as well just to make sure that this one's actually longer before we go ahead and get it mounted up on the car Definitely about two and a half, three inches shorter. Also picked up a complete set of Grim Speed exhaust gaskets. So I think, I think the only one we need right now is that guy and the one included with the downpipe. Well, she fits. She fits perfect. Gotta cut our zip tie right here that we had holding the cat back on. And we still need to go through, get everything lined up with the cat back. That's loose, that's loose. Everything torqued down for the whole entire exhaust system. And then we can go ahead and fire it up for the first time. I know this car is not gonna be really, really loud with this system that we have, but I think it's gonna sound good. So I'm excited for that. damn good it's actually perfect i'm not gonna lie i was expecting it to be probably maybe a little bit louder than how it was before it's way louder than it was before but it's still like it's still such a good sound still factory unequal length manifold listen to this thing boys so just to clarify Stock exhaust manifold with a Grim Speed cross pipe, a Catless up pipe, Grim Speed catted down pipe, and then the cat back is a non resonated Grim Speed cat back. Grim Speed everything, and it sounds so damn good. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit, fresh it open up the shop so we don't die, but let it warm up, give it some freaking revs. Bro, I'm so excited about this car. Hell yeah. Little turbo whistle wind down. Ball bearing blouse turbo. I freaking love this car. I cannot wait to drive it. I just checked the forecast. It looks like we're gonna have a few clear days coming up. So we should be able to take this thing out and it's not that I don't ever wanna drive it in the snow or the rain. I don't really care to be honest, but with a whole brand new build, there's gonna be nonstop, or not nonstop, there's gonna be quite a few little issues that we're gonna have to take care of with the car. And the last thing I wanna do is go drive it in the snow pool in the shop be working under a car with snow dripping on me. So that's why, as of right now, I'm against driving in the snow. We do have an appointment tomorrow to get all the glass back in the car, which is exciting. That's like the only thing we need right now to actually drive the car. Being that I do wanna start driving this car and we have to drive it tomorrow, I just talked to Mr. Josh Bader on the phone and he's gonna go ahead and send over just a base map for now, just so we can start driving this thing 
because as of right now, it doesn't want to rev out at all. So full mod list, that's all you needed. And then the access port serial number. So we got DW1200s, radium fuel rails, radium fuel line kit with a radium, with a radium regulator, DW300C that we have not installed yet. I might do that tonight. Bosch turbo, Grim Speed front mount intercooler, and a Grim Speed three port. And obviously all the Grim Speed exhaust. We did pick up a access port from my guys over at Import Image Racing. They were kind enough to get us one second day aired. I know in the Evo world, we don't really run access ports. Just open source is the way to go. But with Subarus, I found, and everybody else has found that, it's much easier to tune a Subaru with an access port. So these things are definitely much needed. This is the newest model, AP Sub 003. So he just needs the access port serial number. Um, I think it's that number right there, the sub 0034314. Pretty sure that's the serial number for this guy. Nice little mount is included. Let's figure out where we want this guy to sit. It's double side tape. I'm not sure if it's gonna stick to the dash. I know it will stick to the window, so I may just wait until we get the windshield back in the car to get this thing mounted up. So there's some maps already built in. I'm just gonna select something random just so we can get this access port installed. I think changing maps is very, very easy. Installing takes a touch longer. Access port installed successfully. To be honest, I was a little bit worried that the ECU was swapped in this thing for some other sort of ECU because they put this JDM engine in it, but it is indeed a way STI ECU, which is cool. Bobby's on her way over right now. We are gonna swap out our hatch for a new hatch, a carbon fiber hatch, which I'm really excited for. And then we're gonna toss the carbon fiber hood back on the car as well. Just try to get this thing prepped out and ready so we can actually go enjoy and drive it. In the meantime, there's a few more goodies in the bay that I wanna go ahead and get installed. So we have, let's just go ahead and pull them out of the box. Some more Grim Speed stuff. I told you guys a while ago, there's more red going into the bay. There's gonna be a lot of red in this bay. All right, first up is wrinkle red alternator cover. As always, hardware is included. Next up. <laughs> I should probably have done some of this stuff black. I guess we'll see what it looks like when it's all finished up. This is sick. Lightweight wrinkle red battery tie down. I'm not gonna say wrinkle red anymore because all of this is wrinkle red. Another little cover. This is a uh, radiator shroud. Last but not least, some fender covers or fender shrouds. I know this is a metric shit ton of red, adding to an already red bay, but keep in mind, intake manifold will be changed, possibly the turbo, coal, the compressor housing as well. So if you minus those two out of the equation, those are gonna most likely go wrinkle black. I've seen some comments about doing them white, and I think that would look good. I just don't think they would look as good or as clean, nice and clean of a setup as they would black. But if you take those two out of the equation, there's not gonna be a whole lot of red until we add all of this. So let's just go ahead, get all this installed and see how it looks and go from there. I can always do some Photoshop work, kind of compare and contrast. We can change some stuff up later on. I'm adding more red into my red engine bay. You're trying to copy me, I see. Well, I uh, try to make mine look better. Oh. See, then this guy sits right here. This, I want this piping. You want red piping? Like what do you have right now, black? Black. Hmm. Wait, can I just steal it? Do you think it's going to be a lot of red? Yeah. But this looks like complete dick wipe. It looks like you... Had a Babe, that's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I'm kidding, up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But that's gonna go black, and the turbo might go black as well. No, they stay red. The intake manifold looks like shit. Oh, turbo needs to, I feel like all turbos just need to be like a polished freaking silver. My Evo's crying. 
with color. yellow. I don't. I just like them all like shiny, like they're glistening when you're like looking over the the engine bay, and then you just see a shining coming from the. Well, it would be much more cool if it was like a rotated setup like yours, but this car isn't rich like your car. Yeah, but you'll still see a shine glistening. You'll be like, "Ooh, what's that?" <laughs> unboxing shit. Why are you little... so? Why are you mad? Cause you're a little shit. I take big shit, not little shit. No, you are one. Let me finish up my grim speed install, and then you can do the carbon fibri. How does this guy work? Do you have any more nails here? Why? Cause I have four new pictures where I'm hanging in their room. Ah. I just love going down the road and. Ooh. I'm just scraping everywhere. Take your fucking flaps off. It's not the flaps, it's the tires. Tires rub on your on your flaps? They just rub in general. Look how true. ugly that is compared to this. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Like that a looks like complete poop. Okay, baby. I, I just want to leave. What? I still can't find my fucking bag of bolts. Piss me off. Where's the place you haven't checked? I would have put them in the car. I know I would, because I went through the whole entire interior. Cleaned everything out, really? like literally everything, put them all in a bag, and then I probably threw the bag in the garbage. They're probably like, did you check under the seats? I don't know about it. Like, do, do you take responsibility for anything? Like, I don't have time to check over your work. Uh, I'm not gonna put the fender vents on until we get the hood on because I still need to adjust the fender to hood gap. So Bobby's here to help me put the hood on because I don't want to chip the paint like I did last time. I chipped my brand new paint and it really pissed me off. Shall we do her dirty? Yeah, let's do her dirty. I'll do you dirty. Wow! Are you some like coat of meal? Should we should we pop this car off with like the stormtrooper? Carbon, black, carbon. Black roof or not? Always. Okay, the next big item. I hope this looks good. I think it will. Do you think the carbon hatch is gonna look good? Uh, oh. It's gonna be a game changer. You think so? What? Well, I'm just nervous because the wing is white. The top of the wing is, it's gonna, it's gonna be tough to make it flow. <laughs> You're you such a noob. You don't think so? It's gonna flow. All right, let's go freaking rip it up again. You scammed me hard. I called you and told you on the phone, we have to put a hood on and that hatch. <laughs> you know you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, you oh, you wanna put your ski belt in? Not right now. Would you like to buy a stock FRS hood? Mint condition, dark gray metallic, I'll sell it to you for five bucks. But in reality, it's worth 10 grand. You know what a really bad habit I've had that I'm trying to stop is setting parts on cars. Yeah. Because it completely fucks them up. That's what I've realized over the years. I mean, yeah. It's weird, huh? It I is. You just set just... stuff on cars and it ruins it. <laughs> You're pretty cool over there. What's for dinner? Um, I was hoping you'd take me out. What day is it? Thursday, Wednesday. Hmm. We can have that pizza my dad bought us. That's pretty scrumptious, dude. You know what's really annoying is why did I spend so much time making that hatch perfect to have it on the car for a little bit and then take it back off? Why do I do this? I need a plan better in my head. Been really funny. Oh, we just want to see it already. The holy grail. Oh my, Lanta. Here, let me. Eesh. What do you think? That thing is so nice. You wanna know what I just realized? That I think is really cool and it really just cleans up the car. What's up? Is the fact that this doesn't have a stupid garnish. Wait, it does have a garnish. Damn. I thought this was built in. I don't know why. So we're gonna have this stupid black hunk of ass on there? I need a carbon one immediately. That's not what? acceptable. All right, so thankfully we didn't fully assemble this thing. The wiring is in, but we can pull it right back out. Not a big deal. 
Bobby has a lot of shit to do apparently, right Bobby? I do. What do you have to do? I gotta go sell some stuff. I gotta go to Target and Best, Best Buy. Best Buy. So she's gonna help me real quick, pop this hatch off, get the new one on. And then me and you guys, yay, we can spot the wiring in the wing. Frick dude, I wanna wrap the roof tonight now. But we can do that some other day. Pointing up to the ceiling. Fire? Very fire. That looks so good. Cover cover just looks so sexy and rich. Hold it down, I want to see. Oh, that is busting. Yeah. It looks funny without the wing, though. It does, but it looks better. It's gonna be sick. Why I want this to stay down? Oh, there's no latch and oh. there's no weight. <laughs> so we got the hatch on. We do need to make some minor adjustments, but overall, I think this is gonna look uh, so good. It's really hard to pull down right now with no glass or nothing in it. It's very, very light. Gap was a little bit tighter on this side. As you guys can see, it hit a little bit right there. So let's go ahead and get this thing fully adjusted, sitting exactly where it needs to sit on the car. Hopefully it fits as good as the hood on the FRS does. And then from there, we can run over, grab the wing, set the wing on there. We gotta pull all the wiring back out of the old hatch and get it in this hatch. And then hopefully tomorrow we can get all of the glass installed. We got the hatch fitting very, very nicely. Gap right there is solid. I'm very pleased with how all of the gaps are. It's nice and clean. I am super eager to get the wing back on and see how it flows. Keep in mind the roof is gonna go black 100%. That little antenna thing, it's also gonna go black. Let's go ahead, pop on the wing, and see if it flows at all or if we need to change up some stuff on the wing as well. I think it flows really, really nice. It's a good breakaway point for the black roof. Now if we had a carbon roof, that'd be insane, but um, cutting off the roof and putting a carbon one on, it's a little extra. I must say. Carbon hood, black roof, carbon hatch. That's gonna stay white up to the black wing. I think overall it's gonna flow very, very nicely. In the future, if we do want to go ahead and just do the top of the wing black as well, we can we can do that. That would not take too much work. Here's a shot from the backside. I think overall it flows nice. I am so hyped on the hatch. The hatch car and the hatch itself. If you wanna pick up this Saibon carbon hatch, I'll go ahead and have it linked down in the description box below. So we got everything completed with the hatch. As soon as we get some glass in, we'll be good to go. Next thing I want to do with the back end of this car is something with the tails. So I initially thought that these were like a smoked taillight, right? I didn't think that it was any sort of overlay. And then I looked at it a little bit closer and it is an overlay. I bought the taillight red out kit, I think it's called. It's like a red outline on the taillight. I think it looked really, really nice on the hatches. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep the smoke on there or peel it off and use just the red. I'll probably peel off this tinted film here and just use the red itself. So let's go ahead and get these guys on the car and then we can swap out the smoke film for the red film. Can wrap the whole entire car, <clears throat> but I cannot tint the tail light. I don't know why. To be honest, I don't mind the all clear look. I know the red vinyl will make it look a little bit better. I'll throw a photo on the screen if you guys are not familiar with what I'm talking about, but I think the clear might look better than the smoked. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video with messing around with the front end. So we gotta align the hood to the fenders. How far are we off? That's Pretty far off right now. This side's a little bit better, so try to get the 
hood and fenders lined up and then we can slop on the rest of this grim speed stuff inside the bay and see how our pretty much all red engine bay looks This bay is gonna look perfect when we change up the intake manifold and the turb ski. I think it's a perfect amount of red other than those two pieces. What do you guys think? Comment below. I need to get going. I'm gonna go kick it with Bobby for the night. Let's try to spend some, some quality time with her in the new house. But before I do that, I'm gonna see if I can figure out why the brake lights are stuck on. I think it may have something to do with the brake pedal switch. Let's dive in the inside real quick and see what we find. I am proud that I did not tear apart the wiring harness and I started with something easy. Quick adjustment on the brake pedal switch. She was way out of whack. No more disconnecting the battery 40 times a day. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video right here. All of the Grim Speed parts that we installed, I'll link down below, access port, I'll link down below, Cybon hatch. We installed, kind of installed a lot of parts today. Cybon hatch, I'll link down below. Grim speed downpipe, Grim speed catback, I'll link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>